Hi everyone, my name is Bogdan and I'm here in full stack. I will uh, tell you about the progressive web apps. Uh, it's a new term which Google came up like uh, a few years ago almost. And they're right now really uh, actively trying to pr uh, promote this new technology. Uh, so I'll try to tell you and explain what it is uh, and how it works. So. What is actually app? What is different from website and app? Like right now we have like uh, web apps and we have like this native apps. So the special thing about native apps is that this high performance, it's engaging, engaging and it's immersive. So by, by high uh, performance, uh, we are talking here about like it loads instantly you don't see any like white splash screen or anything. You usually you wait for or see some animation before it loads, and it's like the scrolling is nice. Like it right away do what you want and that kind of stuff. Uh, by engagement, we mean that you can install it to your home screen, so you don't need to go to the browser and like look for that and that kind of stuff. And then you can just like tap on it and open it and play with that. And it's also uh, immersive. So what is progressive web apps? Uh, the thing about the progressive web apps that they are solution for the pl problems uh, that have uh, like apps, native apps, and they are solution for the problems which web apps don't have. Like, so basically, in order to get a, uh, an application, you need to go uh, to App Store, download it, install it's like a lot of steps. It also takes a lot of memory space on your phone, which usually on the f your phone you don't really have a lot. So basically, uh, Progressive Web App tries uh, to solve it. And it tries to do it by being reliable, fast, and engaging. Uh, so what does the reliable mean? It means it loads fast. It's you usually want to show to user something. You don't want him to see any white screen at all. Then uh, it also has to load in networks. Like usually it's mobile, so sometimes it's 2G and it's very slow. And you want it to also like load really fast. And it also the really cool thing about it, it works works offline. You don't need to be connected to internet. Uh, like first load you have to be, and then uh, uh, as soon as the server workers, to which I will come back later, uh, they will establish the connection with the cache and they will be like providing you all the information you need in order to run it. So no downloads are. Uh, the other thing, it should be fast. So there is a lot of requirements for them uh, and it should be uh, respond really quickly. So right after you go to the website, you can do something. And then uh, it should be like smooth animation as the any application and uh, s s scrolling should be nice. Also, it allows us to do stuff which was not able to do before, which is home screen. You can add it to the home screen, uh, but before that, you need to first like met a lot of criteria, and after that, your like browser will ask you if you want to add this website to your home screen. So, uh, it also uh, allows you to send push notifications to the user, which is nice way to work with them and if you want like if you're a news website you want to get them informed and everything and it's it's really nice to do it from the web and the other thing you don't see a browser you can set it up in manifest uh, and tell that uh, to hide all the browsers so when you open it it's just like full app like like uh, anything and it also works on any platform iOS uh, Android and like any browser. So right now there are four uh, browsers which have implemented this uh, technology, which is Mozilla, uh, uh, Edge, uh, Chrome, and I think there's something else, but don't remember. And uh, also there is one big elephant, which is Apple. And why do you want to use the uh, progressive web apps? Is uh, there, by the statistics, there is like 53% of users will leave your website if it will be loading uh, more than three seconds. So using the service workers, it will allow you to uh, 
do it really fast. The other thing, you don't need uh, to have it uh, app store. You just like, with one press, you can add it to the home screen. And why is that important? Uh, because right now, average user downloads zero app per month. Uh, and it also visits uh, around 100 websites per month. So if you look here, it's also interesting statistics because uh, every step to like install app and then before you use it, it costs you 20% of users before, like after each step. So basically when you have, we can do it with one step, it's like you, you have all the users which could be using your application. So now uh, the question is how to implement it. Uh, so idea of the uh, progressive web app is that you want to break your application into the shells and serve it to the, to the user as uh, when it's available and use the network only as like, as the feature that you can like increase their uh, experience, the user, the experience the user have. So for example, you just open the app and you're loading it, right? So for example, instead of just showing the uh, white splash screen, you're just showing him the, the, the shell that you created uh, like for example, you can write it in the manifest and it will be like some your logo background and nicely like spinning and it will be like uh, indicating to the user that you are downloading. And luckily in React it's very easy to do it, which is much harder in just JavaScript, but you can do it like setting up the state to your React component and then showing up the loader if, if, it's, st if it's still loading and then if, if all, uh, it's already loaded, you can just uh, display the products list or whatever you have there. Uh, so uh, this is also possible because of the service workers. And what is this service workers? Service workers are really nice technology which is basically uh, all the interactions from the user, they go through the service worker. And service worker determines like if, uh, should I go to the network or should I go to the cache to, in order to get that uh, information. So for example, if you are uh, like news website, you want first get the, also the text instead of, and then all the pictures and everything else and like the styles. So you will first go, but you would also can go like to the cache to check if you've been to that website and it will download all this like styles and stuff that he needs and then like update the newest uh, stuff which is not yet in the cache. So there are like different, it also allows you to use a lot of different strategies with caching. Uh, so for example, uh, you can like cache first. So basically you will first go to the cache, check if it's in there, then you bring it and then you will go to the network. The second one, the network is just opposite from the first one. And the fast, uh, fastest, it's also called a race, which is really, really nice way. For example, if you have a mobile phone, sometimes, Downloading, t uh, t downloading it from the network could be faster than taking it uh, from the cache because mobile phone could be slow and uh, that kind of stuff. So you can like first go to the network and then go to the, to the cache. And also you can custom it with however you want depending on the application you have and what you need to serve first. So for example, here are some uh, routes that you can write uh, for a uh, service worker. It's pretty simple and you can look it up on the Google uh, developers website. And also you can add it to the home screen, but before that you need to uh, add, like you need to meet a lot of requirements, which are first, uh, like which are this for. So service worker, uh, we're familiar with that now. and. But in order to install them, you need to use the uh, HTTPS because HTTPS uh, like uh, makes sure that you're a secured uh, client and because service workers can do a lot of things which you would not want to allow to do anyone uh, with your computer and your cache. Then the, the, other, the other thing is to create manifest, which is uh, determine how the application will look on your home screen and like how it will be loading. And it has to be uh, uh, heuristic. Uh, the other thing, uh, uh, to meet all these requirements, you go to the Lighthouse website and you will be like passing out, uh, all of them one by one. Uh, 
the other thing, manifest. So manifest is, should be included into your, it, it should be in your root directory uh, and it should be loaded like first. And then uh, you like write all of this uh, uh, specs that it needs. So it's name, short name, then icon, which will be displayed on the home screen. And then like you say, uh, if you want to uh, like display it as a full screen mode, which is the star URL, and then orientation is a portrait and a lot of different features you can uh, add. The push notifications. Push notifications you can go and look up because it's also a lot of uh, interesting stuff. And uh, the other thing, what is progressive? So basically progressive here means that you use network as some enhancement for the application which like to increase the capabilities, but it's not required to have the network. And uh, I think it's the future of the bad because it uh, really brings us the ability to communicate uh, with user uh, directly. And I will show you like a really quick uh, application, uh, which is Washington Post website. Uh, and they just, uh, uh, they just recently uh, updated, tried to update it so it's like still in the progress. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, it loads instantly. And it's like right away you can see that if I'll slow, uh, slow down the connection, you'll be able to see how it will actually uh, loading one by one, like the most important elements go first, like text, and then uh, everything else goes. So I will also enable the cache, and then I'll change it a little bit faster. So right now, if you will look here, you see that like minutes first, you can see them, and then they appear, and it's like everything is cached so right away it just instantly uploads them. The other uh, thing that you may be seen in the uh, Chrome tools, there is this tab application where you can uh, look at the service workers and you can see that they are running and they're successfully like doing the uh, job they had to do. So I encourage you to explore more because it's really interesting stuff and like this is the, the Average time to for the first paint uh, of uh, Washington Web uh, po uh, Washington Post website is 80 milliseconds, which is pretty impressive, and that's my talk. And thank you. <laughs>